Community gang stacking. And command signal. Distraction technique. Trying to block special delivery white powder bags. 5130 West 24th Street in Laramie. Cicero, Illinois 60804. White Jeep BMW Visiting the Candyman Basement Daily Drug Dealing Traffic Transactions Distribution and Packing White Powder Bags Town of Cicero Police Department Protection Cover Up Dirty Little Secret White Powdered Bags This is the reason why Thomas' Rural Police Department reacted the way they did to cover up any investigation by the DEA or the news media. Again, that was community gang stalking on command signal. Fear tactics, distraction.
very light harassment. You saw that? He played it off like he was checking the mail. He came out through the front exit. Very sneaky. Trying to avoid any suspicion. That's why I received the uh, bright light harassment. He came out through this door. He went in through here, through the gate, and he came out. That door right there. So he got what he wanted. Special delivery white powder bag pickup. It took him long enough. And then he was just playing around with the mailbox. There was a customer, and the customer played it off very well that he was checking for mail, that he lived there. Again, he went into here, and he came out through the front door to avoid any detection. Organized crime family was trying to distract me with community gang stalking and bright light harassment. The bright light harassment is going to make me focus on this car while he runs to his car. That's how that works. That's a distraction technique. There you go, folks. 5130 West 24th Street in Laramie, Cicero, Illinois, 60804. Um, daily drug dealing, traffic transactions, distrib distribution and packing, white powder bags. Uh, Tana Cicero Police Department, protection, cover-up. This is the reason why um, Tana Cicero Police Department reacted so quickly to avoid the DEA or the news media to open up any investigation. And um, <clears throat> is, the, is the candy man in the house? I think so. That's his car right there. See it? That's his car right there. That Pontiac red car is in the house. Look how far he parked away to avoid any detection or suspicion. Right here. So yeah, uh, murder plot continues. Extreme high level frequencies coming from next door. 5135 West 24th Street in Laramie, Cicero, Illinois, 60804. Organized crime family, second floor hideout, home base. Daily order the instructions by Anthony J. Loader, Avila Greco, Melo Greco. Daily electronic harassment frequencies. Is used to promote, provoke movement reaction response. Reaction response, turn off all electrical appliances. Bright light harassment, cover up our windows. San Francisco Police Department, waiting, standing by. False police reports, court dates. The most important of all, the front cover up, pre-enrollment mental health hospital begins. 
Constant mental health hospital evaluation victims lose their credibility. Family, friends, news media withdraw lose hope. Symptoms, paranoia, hallucinations, concerned are with your surroundings. Uh, hospital evaluation questions. Do you see any lights? Do you hear any voices? Do you feel someone wants to hurt you? Um, why are you turning off the appliances? Why are you covering up the windows? Uh, this is uh, how victims are manipulated, preconditioned at home to react. The consequences are very severe. On the doctor's care, prescribed four to five different medication dosages for evaluation purposes only will increase and intensify silent and coherent victims, nursing home final faith, identity theft Medicaid takes place, cause of death, tumor cancer of the brain, from daily electronic harassment frequencies called electronic harassment. No open cases because of the medication involved every time the victim reacts in the hospital. Uh, big money payday. The younger the victim, the bigger the payoff. Manipulate businesses. Remain in control. Silent victims. Organized crime family process. Thank you so much. This has been an update. And as you can see, um, the candy man is open for business like always. And they're being real sneaky about it. Um, they're trying to um, use distraction techniques. And um, as, as you've seen, the guy goes in the, the gate, the side gate. And then he comes out to the front uh, door as if he lives there. He's a customer. He had no business looking at the mail. Uh, he's, he was uh, given instructions. That's what's that called. He was given instructions. And uh, that's called social acting. And the bright light harassment before he came out uh, from the car was a distraction te technique. Uh, so I can focus my attention on the light source rather than him. And that would be his cue uh, to run inside his car and drive away real fast before I, I, I can get him on, on camera. But we got them, folks. Uh, March 30th, 2024, Saturday morning, 9.46 a.m. Murder plot continues, and uh, looks like it's going to be a busy day. Thank you so much for your support. Murder plot continues, and uh, again, this is a uh, uh, ton of Cicero Police Department uh, protection cover-up. This is not the first time ton of Cicero Police Department reacted the way they did. By coming to um, this home. They came before. I had them on video. Go back and check. Um, that was a, a fake home visit. And, and it happened again. They do this every time the news media gets involved. They do that. So the news media uh, dry, doesn't, do no, uh, doesn't open up no investigation. And uh, I lose credibility. But we got... Uh, the evidence is in, folks. They're, they're real slick about it, and we're going to continue doing our uh, surveillance. I appreciate your support, uh, folks. This is called Unsolved Murder Cases of Identity Theft Medicaid. Victims are preconditioned at home to react. And um, I almost reacted this morning a little bit. Um, as you can see, I, I had to cover up the the window, and uh, I had to make this right here. So just a little bit, so I can I can uh, have breakfast and watch TV, but. <clears throat> We gotta keep working. Thank you so much for your support. Happy Easter. Miguel Rodriguez.